Hello wizards, it's Bree here with your Leaky TV for Thursday, November 4th, 2010. Got some good news for you guys. In two weeks, two weeks from today, you will all be in line waiting to see Deathly Hollows Part 1 at midnight. I will actually be with the entire Leaky TV crew in New York waiting in line to see the movie with them. I'm really excited. Perhaps we'll do a uh, little joint leaky TV thing at that point. It's gonna be great. Throw my wand up in the air sometimes. Anyway, on to today's top stories. There are a bunch of new clips from Deathly Hollows online. I haven't watched any of them, but I hear that they include clips of Creatures, Scrimshore, and the Seven Potters transformation. I haven't seen any of them. I've been avoiding clips and everything besides the trailer, like the plague. But if you guys want to check them out, you can go to leakynews.com and see them. Also in today's news, Leaky was able to obtain November 12th Entertainment Weekly, which has a bunch of fun stuff about Deathly Hollows, including pictures and behind the scenes stuff. So if you want to look at those, you can check out the scans on leakynews.com. Now let's travel back in history to a simpler time in today in Potter history. On November 4th, 2002, eight years ago, 12-year-old mm -hmm, Emma Watson was asked in an interview about the hug between the characters of Harry and Hermione in the movie Chamber of Secrets. She was asked if she thought that it meant early signs of love between the two characters. She simply answered... That's a question for J.K. Rowling. Good girl. Always liked her. That's about it for today's Leaky TV. Don't forget that you can hear more about all these stories and then some on leakynews.com.